Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I want to take you through the most dangerous elbow you can throw that has the highest probability of landing on offense or defense. We saw this recently executed in 1FC. Perfect video footage examples, which we will examine today. I'm gonna to roll the intro and we'll dive right in to this super dangerous technique. Now, on this channel, over the last couple of years, you guys have seen me focus a lot on boxing, quite a bit on the kicks, and a decent amount on the knees. But we haven't touched on the elbows too much. There's a number of reasons for that. Number one, I don't throw a whole lot of elbows when I compete in my kickboxing fights, which account for pretty much 95% of my fighting experience there are no elbows allowed. I have had two MMA fights where we're allowed to throw elbows, and I have two Muay Thai fights which I trained for, but then last minute, the opponents had to pull out. Plus, obviously, I have years of experience training in elbows just because they're fun, and also time in Thailand where I got to execute them as well. So although I don't consider myself an expert in the way I do as myself as a kickboxer, I can still teach you guys a decent amount about this amazing technique. And today I wanna to put the emphasis on what I believe is the most dangerous elbow you can throw. Does this mean it is the most powerful? No, maybe not. But I believe this one has the most likelihood of landing and is very, very hidden. And as I already mentioned, it can be used defensively, but also offensively, which makes it so much more dangerous. For instance, a slashing elbow off the back arm with a step back is going to have a low probability of landing, in my opinion. A spinning elbow is, although very dangerous, very difficult to actually pull off. But what we're talking about today is the lead arm rising elbow. Now I'm gonna to explain to you why I like this so much. We're gonna look at video footage of a super lek in a recent 1FC fight, successfully knocking down his opponent with a defensive elbow, but then an offensive elbow off the same arm. And then we'll break down the technique as well. Now the first thing I wanna focus on is when we throw this rising elbow up, one of the reasons that I like it so much is the fact you are very, very protected as you throw it. If you keep the opposite hand up, and you poke this out, you can almost use the hands on this side to give you a certain amount of defense. And in addition to that, if you come slightly across your face here, as opposed to straight out and wide, you're also gonna be able to block any shots that come straight down the middle. But as we see here, you can simply stand your ground when somebody attacks and Lift that elbow straight up in a defensive way. Superlek did a great job against Gonzalez, I believe. As Gonzalez approached with actually the same technique, Superlek just stood his ground and fired up the same arm defensively. When I was training for my Muay Thai fights, I learned very quickly that this is a fantastic way to keep yourself safe, but still be offensive. You just stand your ground and fire that arm straight up the middle. But then after Superlek knocks his opponent down with the defensive elbow, then he goes on the attack, takes the step forward, and buries that elbow right into his opponent's forehead. Again though, staying very safe being very aware that counters could come and keeping the other hand up and keeping the actual attacking arm in a very great position so he is protected if any counters do come. Now throughout the years of sparring with elbows, and obviously done very slowly, very carefully, usually with elbow pads, but I have put in many, many rounds with them, especially helping other people getting ready for full Muay Thai rule fights or MMA. What I've learned is this rising elbow is crazy dangerous off a jab. You throw your jab out, you leave it there, it acts as a blinder, and then you step forward with your lead foot and have the elbow come right up the middle. One, two, the speed behind this technique is very, very fast. It's not that traditional one, two, where you're throwing with that beat in between. It's kind of pop, pop, and you blind your opponent 
while keeping yourself very safe with those hands up nice and high. You might not agree with me. There's a good chance you won't. And if you've been throwing elbows for a long time, you might be more correct than me in what the most dangerous elbow is. But in my opinion, the rising elbow is crazy dangerous. You will probably be able to get more power off the back just as you can with a punch because of the extra rotation, but it's a little bit slower and I personally do not feel as safe throwing this as I do off the lead arm. And as we see in this 1FC fight demonstrated by Superlek, this rising elbow off the lead arm is devastating. So I suggest everybody start implementing this into their training. Remember, it can come straight in you can stand your ground, stay defensive, just throw it up, or behind the jab, you can leave it out there and then step forward using that lead punch as a blinder before the elbow follows up. And that's everything I wanted to touch on today. Again, as I already mentioned, I'm not an expert in elbows the same way that I am in punches, kicks, knees, but I think everybody throwing this into their arsenal is a great tool to utilize. If you enjoyed today's episode, please give it a like. If you have not already, join the channel, get subscribed. And as always guys, train hard, and I will see you back here soon for another video.